What is the prevalence of disability? The disability prevalence rate tells us the percent of the population with disabilities. The first step in calculating the prevalence rate is to identify who has disabilities. But identifying those with and without disabilities is not always straightforward. This is because not all disabilities are visible. In addition, disability and functioning exist along a continuum and people can have various levels of difficulties when doing different kinds of activities. As a result, there is not one single population with disabilities, but many. The population with disabilities is identified by picking a cutoff point on the functioning continuum. There are many possibilities, and it is important to have a clear reason for collecting the data so the best cutoff point for that purpose is chosen. Take walking, for example. Some people cannot walk at all. Others can walk on flat roads and paths, but only for short distances. Some can walk for long distances, and some people can run marathons. The cutoff point selected on the walking continuum depends on the reason why we need to know people's level of functioning. The Washington Group has developed standard question sets that take a functional approach which measures the range of difficulties people have when doing basic activities. Using these standard questions will improve disability identification in surveys and censuses. For example, the Washington Group short set records the level of difficulty in doing six basic activities seeing, hearing, walking, self care, cognition, and communication. The question sets are created to be internationally comparable. In international tests of these questions, we find that people with the same functional limitations tend to answer the same way regardless of where they live. The Washington Group recommends that an answer of a lot of difficulty or cannot do at all to any of the six questions be used as the cutoff for identifying the population with disabilities. This cutoff is both cross-nationally comparable and policy relevant. These are the people at most risk of exclusion because of barriers in the environment. But, the Washington Group question sets do allow for various other cutoff points to be used depending on the needs of the data collection. These range from least restrictive, which is determined by those with some difficulty in one or more functional domains, to more restrictive, which includes those who cannot do at least one of the activities at all. Prevalence rates can vary from country to country for many reasons, even if the same methods are used. For example, Disability is associated with age, and some countries have very young or much older populations. But, for data to be comparable, it is essential that the same methods and the same cut points be used. Using the Washington Group methodology will provide more transparent indicators, which can then be used for international comparison of disability prevalence, as well as for SDG disaggregation. And having transparent indicators like this is important so that policymakers can refer to them when designing policies and programs. For more information on the Washington Group on Disability Statistics, visit the website at WashingtonGroup-Disability.com.